there's an old saying, no pain, no gain. And I usually have to find that kind of stuff out the hard way. Um, some of you might know that I actually crashed my Phantom 2 and I crashed it pretty bad. It's bad enough that it's just not repairable. So in lieu of that, I still wanted a drone, even though I was a little nervous now. And I decided to buy a DJI Mini 2. I was still a little nervous to fly it because I am a newbie. Although full disclosure, I'm not a newbie when it comes to remote control. Um, I've been racing RC cars on and off for uh, close to 30 years. Matt, Matt can read him in your top three. And drones seem to be the perfect mix of what I wanted to do and be able to use it for my YouTube channel. The Tello, I didn't get a fly enough because it's, it's an indoor drone and my dogs really hated it and my wife hated it inside even more. So with that said, the Mini 2 was probably my best bet. The reason why I chose the, the Mini 2 was its features. And when I say features, I mean features for newbies. Um, because it's, it's a less expensive drone, I felt like if I did crash it, I was out less money, although it was still quite a bit of money, that this was something that was suited for beginners that wanted a, a higher level drone than, say, just a toy. I'm not going to go over all the specs. There's plenty of videos out there where you guys can go check out the specs and know exactly what the camera's like and all that kind of stuff. What I really kind of wanted to cover was the, the features for newbies or features for those that have never flown before. These things are incredibly easy to fly right out of the box. And with the added features of the quick shots, and they have the Droney, the Rocket, Circle, Helix, and Boomerang. These are all features that you can use in a cinematic way if you want to add them to, say, a YouTube video or a short film or whatever it is you wanted to cover. And being new to this, those were features that I was looking for. Other features would include the fact that it's only 249 grams. Actually, from what I've read, is that it's slightly less than 249 grams. So it falls under the FCC rules, or FAA, FAA. I'm an idiot. I deal with the FCC with my other job, so <laughs> bear with me. So with FAA rules, anything under 250 grams they don't need to be registered as of yet. The future of drones and you know hobbyists are kind of still up in the air. But either way, this still falls under that currently, which is a good thing because anybody can fly these. You don't have to have a license, but eventually that might be necessity or at least a good thing to do. Another tip that I would have is before you even learn to fly, learn the rules. There are rules to flying drones. And it can get you in a lot of trouble if you don't follow these rules. Two of the biggest ones are don't fly over 400 feet and always have it in line of sight. These are pretty small, but keep it in the distance of where you could potentially see it and you're not lifting off from behind a tree and you can't see where you're going up. Just be smart when you're flying these, okay? So that's, that's actually kind of tip one, if you want to call it that. The biggest tip I can give to anybody who is wanting to get into drones, who's wanting to fly these, even just for a hobby, is to practice and what I've found for myself is the best place to go practice 
is the local RC flying field. And I've contacted these guys and they're more than happy to let me go out and practice my drone and, and, and learn and, and use the field as long as I treat it with respect. So that's something you might want to do is look into using a local RC flying field. Some may want you to join to use it. Others may charge you a fee for the day or however long you're going to be out there. But it's just something that you'll have to check into in your, your own local areas. But with that said, let's head out to the flying field and see what I can do. Perfect. Today, I'm out at the Atlantic Hawks Flying Field. It's um, an RC flying field that we have locally. It's just a few miles from my house. And we're gonna try out this new drone today. And uh, we're gonna see if a newbie can actually fly a drone for the first time. Uh, hopefully I won't crash this one. So let's get to it. I will show you from the drone footage or what I got of it. I forgot to hit record on part. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you just how easy it has been to fly this drone. And already, I love this. This thing is so easy to fly. If you're new and want to get into it, this would be the way to go. Um, man. This battery's not even done and I've had a ton of fun already this morning. So I think we're going to just take this and fly some more this morning. <laughs> so as you can see, as a newbie, I can still fly it. I, yeah, I get it. I'm not really a newbie. I know how to work an RC. I, I, so just give me a break, all right? But either way, you can fly one of these. They are very, very simple. They're, they're, they've pretty much fly themselves when they need to so if you're really looking into getting one of these i highly suggest doing it they're a lot of fun you'll enjoy it follow the rules and that's the other big thing so if you found this useful i i really hope that you found this useful because i had a lot of fun making the video all of the footage that you see aerial was done by me in, in learning how to use this drone and shoot more cinematic video for my channel and for you and get out there and fly it. So if you've liked what you've seen here today, please give this video a like and I would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Hope all of you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. 
man, what else can I shoot? Um, I need to, well, I've missed all the fall colors. Perfect. I'm always late to the game.